Welcome. This is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test 2. Um, so question number 65. The question says, an aircraft flying 3,500 feet above the ground at 11.05 a.m. descends to 11,000 feet at 11.10 a.m. What is the average rate of change in feet per minute? Now there's a couple things you're dealing with here, rate of change being one of them. Rate of change is basically a slope reference, so it wants to know how much one uh, of the variables changes versus the other. And the other thing is it says that it descends, which means it's going down. If we're measuring um, rate of change in terms of uh, feet above the ground, so altitude, obviously if they're descending, they're going down. So we can eliminate C and D immediately, because they say they're going up 500 feet per minute, or 700 feet per minute, depending on the question. It's obviously A or B. Now I need to look at each one of these times and matching altitudes uh, as separate points. So, for instance, if I did 11.05 a.m., I'm at 3,500 feet. It's almost like I'm making a coordinate. And at 11.10 a.m., I'm at 1,000. The reason that I put the uh, time in the front or as my x value in my little coordinates that I've made is that I'm trying to do um, an independent variable. And time is the ultimate independent variable in most cases. It's going to be 11.05 or 11 and 10, or it's going to be 11.05 and then 11.10, regardless of what the plane does. If the plane hits the ground and explodes, still going to be 11.10 eventually, or if it makes a perfect flight or ascends or whatever. So it's my x value. So when I look at slope, I'm going to look at the slope formula essentially. So I'm looking at the change in the y value or the change in my dependent variable versus the change in my x's or my independent variable. So when I look at it, I'm really looking at the fact that uh, in my new situation or my y2, if I mark these up, this would be x, y, x, y. This is the second group. This is the first group. So my y2 would be 1,000 minus 3,500 over 1110 minus 11.05. Well, I know for a fact that 11.10 to 11.05 is 5 minutes, and I also know that 1,000 minus 3,500 is 2,500, so all I need to do to figure out the relationship that's left over is just uh, do a little bit of division work, and I should also mention this is negative 2,500. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that, and it kind of makes a, a, an important point in my final works here. I divide by 5, and it gives me negative 500, and on top, of course, were feet, and uh, that would be per minute. So that's my final answer. My answer to number 65 is B. Just use a little logic in terms of what answers that you pick and what you choose, and then you should get the right answer every time. Not a big deal, so uh, good luck.